Hello, and a warm welcome to our channel. Today, we journey into the heart of a peculiar obsession that gripped the United Kingdom, a fixation that revolved around a single piece of clothing, the red Carolina Herrera dress worn by the Duchess of Sussex. This dress not only dazzled the public, but it also stirred the media into a frenzy that lasted for weeks. Intriguing, isn't it? But before we unravel this tale, kindly subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Now, let's delve into the heart of the matter. Cast your minds back to when the Duchess of Sussex rewore a red Carolina Herrera dress to a hospital gala in Los Angeles. A simple act of fashion choice. Yet it sent shockwaves across the pond to the United Kingdom, causing quite the stir in the media. The British press, in an extraordinary display of fixation, spent weeks dissecting Meghan's choice of attire. The red dress, they claimed, was a personal affront, an eyesore, a flagrant disregard for the royal dress code. It was as if the Duchess had committed a grave crime, a fashion felony if you will, and the media were the jury, judge and executioner. The most intriguing part? The dress was not a new addition to Meghan's wardrobe. It was a reworn Carolina Herrera, an elegant number that had graced her figure before. Yet, this time, it was as if the dress had taken on a life of its own. It was compared to the iconic status of Princess Diana's revenge dress, a comparison that seems a bit of a stretch, wouldn't you say? But what was it about this dress that caused such an uproar? Was it the vibrant red colour that screamed freedom and defiance, a stark contrast to the usual beige and pastels of the royal palette? Or was it Meghan's loose, beachy hair that accompanied the dress, a hairstyle that seemed to embody a sense of carefree spirit, foreign to the stiff upper lip culture? Or perhaps it was the simple fact that Meghan looked effortlessly sexy, even in a dress they claimed to despise. Whatever the reasons, the media's obsession with this dress was, and still is, nothing short of bonkers. It's been two months since Meghan stepped out in that red dress. And yet, they are still crying about it. It seems that the Duchess of Sussex, in her red Carolina Herrera dress, managed to do what few have done before. She shook the UK media to its core, and they are still reeling from the aftershocks. But what was it about the dress that caused such a stir? This question has been circling around ever since the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, stepped out in a ravishing red Carolina Herrera dress. A dress that, it seems, shook the very foundations of the British media and sent shockwaves through the monarchy. Let's delve a bit deeper into this obsession, shall we? Firstly, let's consider the Duchess herself. Meghan Markle, a woman of undeniable charm and grace, has always been known for her youthful and vibrant personality. This particular evening, she looked more radiant than ever, embodying a sense of youth and freedom that was perhaps a stark contrast to the traditional image of the royal family. Could this be the reason behind the media's fixation? Was it her radiant glow that unsettled them, or the fact that she dared to break away from the traditional royal mould? Then, let's dissect the dress. The red Carolina Herrera was a far cry from the usual beige and pastel tones that we often associate with royal attire a bold colour, a statement piece. It was a testament to Meghan's individuality, her refusal to conform to the norms and her confidence in her own style. Was it this deviation from the norm that sparked the media's frenzy, or was it the fact that she dared to rewear a dress, a move that is practically unheard of in royal circles? Finally, let's talk about the hairstyle. Loose, beachy waves, a casual yet elegant style that perfectly complemented her dress. It was a far cry from the meticulously styled coiffs we're used to seeing on royal heads. Was this laid-back hairstyle the final straw that sent the media into overdrive? Or was it simply another testament to her individuality? The possibilities are endless. And the truth is, we may never know. The media's obsession with Meghan's red dress could be attributed to a multitude of factors. Perhaps it was her youthful and free look that made headlines or her bold choice of colour. Maybe it was her casual hairstyle that ruffled feathers, or simply the fact that she dared to rewear a dress. Or perhaps it was a combination of all these factors, a perfect storm that resulted in weeks of media frenzy. But whatever the reason, one thing is certain. Meghan Markle, with her radiant glow, her individual style, and her refusal to conform to the norms, has once again managed to turn the royal world upside down. And the dress? Well... It's become an icon in its own right. One thing is clear, 
the dress made quite an impact. Whether it was adored or despised, it was certainly unforgettable. And as for the Duchess of Sussex, well, she continues to shine unfazed by the media's obsession and steadfast in her own unique style. The obsession didn't stop with the media alone. The fascination with the red Carolina Herrera dress, worn by the Duchess of Sussex, spiralled far beyond the confines of newsrooms and media houses, seeping into the public consciousness. It was as though this single piece of fabric had taken on a life of its own, sparking debates and discussions around every British dinner table. Interestingly, the dress wasn't just a subject of fascination. For many, it became a source of discomfort, even distress. Yes, you heard it right. The radiance that Meghan exuded, her youthful exuberance and the freedom she symbolised, seemed to cause sleepless nights for many in the United Kingdom. Perhaps it was her refusal to conform to the traditional hues of beige and taupe, or the audacity of her loose, beachy hair that unsettled the staunch monarchists. But let's not forget the dress itself. Its vibrant red colour was a stark departure from the usual royal palette. It was playful, it was bold, and it was unapologetically Meghan. The dress was not merely a fashion statement, but a declaration of independence. It was as if Meghan was saying, I am here, I am free, and I will not be silenced. The dress also became a symbol of defiance. It was Meghan's way of pushing back against the rigid norms and expectations that had been placed upon her since she joined the royal fold. It was more than just a garment. It was a statement, a rebellion, a challenge to the status quo. The red dress was not just a piece of clothing. It was a catalyst, a game-changer, something that shook the very foundations of the UK's media landscape and the public's perception of the monarchy. It was a stark reminder that Meghan, even thousands of miles away, continued to command attention and stir conversations. The dress was a testament to the power of fashion as a tool of communication, a beacon of individuality and a platform for self-expression. It was a symbol of Meghan's strength, resilience and defiance against the pressures of royal life. The dress has indeed become a symbol of Meghan's defiance. In conclusion, the obsession with the dress is more than just about the dress itself. It's a mirror reflecting the media's and the public's fascination and fixation with the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. The Red Carolina Herrera dress, which Meghan wore with such grace and charm, stirred up a storm that lasted for weeks. It was not just a piece of clothing, it became a symbol of conversation, of controversy, and at its core, a symbol of Meghan herself. The uproar was not merely about the colour, the style or the brand, it was about the woman wearing it. It was about Meghan who dared to step out of the conventional royal box, who embraced her individuality with every thread of that dress. The dress was a statement, a statement that screamed freedom, youthfulness and defiance. It was Meghan's way of saying, I am here and I'm not going anywhere. It was her way of declaring her presence, her relevance and her influence. And it worked. The media couldn't stop talking about it. The public couldn't stop thinking about it. And the monarchy, well, they couldn't stop watching it. But let's not forget, it was not the dress that made Meghan, but Meghan who made the dress. She wore it with confidence, with elegance, with a glow that could outshine the sun. She wore it like she wore her life, with courage, with tenacity, and with an unwavering spirit. In the end, the obsession with the dress was not about its colour, its style, or its brand. It was about the woman wearing it. It was about Meghan. And that, my friends, is the power of the Duchess of Sussex. It's the power of a woman who knows her worth, who embraces her individuality, and who isn't afraid to show it to the world. So, the next time you see Meghan Markle in a dress, remember this. It's not just a dress, it's a statement. A statement of strength, of defiance, and of unapologetic individuality. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.